So here we go, you guys. I'm going to give you my full thoughts on how VGA grades in 2022. This submission here was graded in February 2022. With every submission I do, I try to be as accurate as possible and I guess every single grade because I want to be as accurate as I can be with predicting this scale. Hopefully this information about my own experience will help you to make better decisions with your own grading. Just a few caveats before we get into this. This submission was about 30 games and most of them were cardboard based. Also, this sample size is limited to 30 games. I do invite anyone else who has any opinions or ideas on how VGA is grading recently to put your own comments down below because I'd love for us to share this information. And lastly, VGA does have multiple graders. So just because my submission ended up like this and these were the results that I got, it is fully possible that you submit stuff and you have a different grader that grades your items and you receive slight variance compared to what I got. So let's get into it. Let's just start with the macro overview view of everything that took place here. Out of all the games I submitted, I was able to get the correct grade on 11 out of 29 of them, or about 38% of the time, which honestly isn't that good. I was hoping to be above 50%. I was hoping to be around 60%. If we look at the bottom stat here, which tracks if I was right within one grade point, then I got 19 out of 29 or 66% of the grades right. So 66% of the time, I either got it right or I was within one grade. But like I said, I wanted the actual correct grade to be a bit higher, but still it shows I'm on the right track with how I'm grading. What's really interesting though on the overview here is that it's not that I was wrong because I was overgrading my items. I was undergrading severely. On 15 out of 29 of the games, I got a better grade. That's 52% of this submission got a better grade than what I was personally giving it. And you can see I got a worse grade on only three games or 10% of the submission. So there are two scenarios here. Either VGA has lightened up on some of its grading or I am a complete hard ass when I grade my games. Let's go look a little bit closer at the data here and we're going to start by looking at the 80 to 80 plus range here because this is where I was really really off. And again it's not that VGA beat me up it's that I did way better than I thought I was going to. If we look here there was actually only one game where I got the 80 plus grade correct which was Donkey Kong Country 2. So on two games here where I was thinking it was a 75 plus I actually got an 80 plus and on the one game that I thought was actually a 75 I got an 80 which is massive that's a massive difference when you're getting two grade points different than what you think and this is where I saw the most inconsistency of what I thought versus what VGA thought if we go over here to this side data you can see that from VGA 75 up to 80 plus I only got one grade correct out of a possible 12 that means if I thought the game was a 75 75 plus 80 80 plus I was wrong on almost every single one of them. So either I'm a super strict grader at these lower levels or VGA has lightened up a bit on what a 75 plus 80 A plus grade is. And this is where the inherent issue with the VGA grading does lie. As we get lower down the scale, if we break into the 80s, the 70s, the 60s, the amount of variance in the types and amounts of wear that these games can have varies drastically. You can have absolutely beat up boxes with nice seals. You can have beat seals with nice boxes. You can have a mix of both, but it's very hard to gauge where exactly it's going to lie because you're taking the entire package as a single grade. With WADA scale, you're allowed to anticipate both the box and the seal, which makes you overall have a better gauge of where your game is going to land on the scale. And with some of these games here, like the Cabal, the Abadox, the World Games, I have uploaded my pre-grading estimations on a different video. So if you want to see for yourself if you agree with how VGA graded it or if you agree with how I graded it, you can go and check out that video after this one. Link will be in the description for that. But yes, I do think VGA has gotten a bit softer at the 80 and the 80 plus level where you can now have more damage, more wear to your games and they're still going to get an 80. Whereas before, I don't think they would have. I would love to hear your own opinion down below if you have any recent grading experience with VGA. Moving into the 85 level, you can see there were still four instances where I was off by two full grades. And also at the bottom here, there were two games where I actually did overgrade them. Over here on the side chart, you can see that if I did guess a VGA 85, I was actually right 50% of the time, which that's good. I'll take that. Especially because the four 85s that I was wrong about were 
actually 85 pluses. That is exactly the type of wrong I love to be. The two games that I actually overgraded were a Game Gear game and a GameCube DVD case, Metroid Prime, which of course, both of those I do have less experience with. Now with the Metroid Prime, I did talk about in my other video, I'm probably going to break it out and see what the heck is wrong with it because I am surprised by this grade. This is the only grade in the submit. There's one other game in the submission that we're going to talk about later, but um, this is the only other game in the submission where I was actually surprised about the grade in a bad way. The Dracula for Game Gear, I guessed 85 plus. It's always possible that an 85 plus is an 85 or an 85 is an 85 plus. A lot of games are going to sit right on that line there. That's very consistent with how they grade. Sometimes you get a favorable bump, sometimes you don't. Also interesting though, is there were four instances of where I guessed a VGA 80 and they actually ended up being VGA 85. If I'm guessing 80 and it actually comes out as an 85, that's a huge difference. That's big and 85 is a very nice game. That makes me think that I'm personally being very strict but if I am being very strict now, I probably had a reason to see it and be so strict. I would want more sample size before I start saying that the VGA 85 level has also gotten soft. There are four games here that did get a two grade bump versus my guess, but also right down here, there were four games that were exactly on my guess. So it's just as likely that I was being super strict as it is that VGA was being super soft. I would say that it's allowing maybe slightly more wear than it was circa 2014 to 2018, but again, kind of need a bigger sample size. Which does bring us into the VGA 85 plus level, which you can see here, if I guessed an 85 plus on the game, if I said that this was an 85 plus, I was actually right 86% of the time, six out of seven games. That is very good to see and gives me a lot of faith that at the 85 plus level, VGA is basically grading the exact same as they always have. At the very top here though, there are two games I do want to talk about. Digimon Rumble Arena PS1. It had a small rip on the side of the case. Historically, rips have been a huge deal with VGA grading, so I just assumed they were going to beat me up over it. To my pleasant surprise, they did not. I thought 80 plus, they actually gave me an 85 plus. That's huge. I'm happy with that. The game is super freaking nice outside of a small rip. So it's hard for me to decide if that's VGA being soft, if VGA missed the rip, maybe I thought the rip was far worse than it was. That one's tough for me. However, and I'm going to whip out my phone here and I'm going to show you guys this game. This Dragon Warrior Monsters Tara, I thought was going to be an 80, an 80 grade, and they gave it a freaking 85 plus. This is by far the absolute worst 85 plus I have ever received from VGA. And I am going to say that it is a one-off scenario. It does not weaken my faith in the 85 plus scale, but it is definitely worth noting. So let's just go ahead and look at this. So this is the 85 plus in question here. Let's just go over it the best we can. So starting with this top left hand corner, it is dinged and a little bit of crushing there. You can see that. Um, then we go to the top ledge of the game. There's a little divot right there. If we go across the top ledge, there's another divot over here on the side right there. Also dinged in there, you can see it is also kind of dusted, exposed on the side there. This bottom corner is even worse than the other two corners that we saw. You can see how crushed that one is there. The other corner is a little bit soft, but not too bad. Then on the back of the game, we have the worst spot of wear, which is right here on the back of the game. Right there, you can see it is ripped and gashed at the top. If I look in from the top, you can see there how the gash looks right there. Very clear to see. You can also see the divots on the top very clear right there of them right below the NX sign. I'm not sure if you can see it in the phone, but that corner there is also exposed. Right down there on the reflection of the light, you can see that there is bad scarring on the wrap as well as a little bit of divot right there, right? So bad scarring right in the center of the box. And uh, yeah, just not that nice of a wrap either, right? Over here on the side wall, you can kind of see a very soft crease there going up with the wall side. You can just kind of see it in the light reflection there. And uh, yeah, overall, just not a very appealing game with not many redeeming factors. It's not like this is a damaged box with case fresh wrap or anything. This is, uh, this is a damaged 
damaged game with damaged wrap as far as I'm concerned. And you, like I said, the worst 85 plus I have ever received. So yeah, that simply is what it is. I feel like if I sent it back to VGA, there's absolutely no shot it would get an 85 plus again. Maybe I will just send it back. I don't know. We'll see what happens. One other thing that I do want to point out is this submission did have the International Superstar Soccer 2000. That was a VGA 85 that I turned into an 85 plus. Maybe a little bit more evidence that VGA is grading a bit softer these days. This game was quite beautiful when I cracked it out of the case. I couldn't really understand why it was an 85 to begin with. So could be an issue of it just being harshly graded the first time around and this is the more correct grade or the other way around. Again, a larger sample size is kind of required. And then let's talk about the VGA 90 and above level really quick. I only guessed 90 on two games of this submission and neither one of them got it. The 90 and above level is as exclusive as it has ever been. You really truly do need min condition games. Usually the 90 and above level is going to be case fresh type games. It's just really hard to get it always has been hard to get and it looks like it still is hard to get and that's great to see i do like that vga keeps their top level games exclusive you really can for the most part trust if you're buying a 90 90 plus 95 or 95 plus that you're getting a truly mint item there will always be exceptions much like with that dragon warrior tar i just showed you but for the most part you should be able to trust the grade like always though make sure you look at the freaking game that you are buying don't just read the label and click the buy button always look at the photos look at the game that you are buying overall i still am very happy with how vga grades i still will be using vga again in the future but if i am buying something in the 80 or 80 plus range i am going to be a little bit more particular i am going to scrutinize the item a little bit more than i used to regardless let me know how you feel down in the comment section hit the like button to help this video spread to more people thank you to every single patreon who helps support the channel i can't do it without you guys and i'll see you all in the next video.